Well, hey, good morning out there. Yes, it's Saturday, mm, day eight of our character challenge. Just thought I'd take you outside here and show you what life is like on the farm. <laughs> oh, just fed the animals here this morning. And our word today is integrity. Wow, I'm sure many of you are thinking about Mother's Day and preparing for the grand celebration for tomorrow, Mother's Day. So. You know, as you get out, um, think about that. I was thinking about my mother. She's flying into town today from Pensacola. Uh, I'm gonna take her around. She wants to see some of my jobs. She's like, hey, take me by Fisk University. I wanna see what you do in your daily life as a roofer. <laughs> I'm like, okay, mom. So I know my mom likes to hang out with me. It's been a while. And I hope that all of you have a great Mother's Day tomorrow and prepare what they like for Mother's Day, right? I know that uh, my mother-in-law, uh, she likes Kentucky Fried Chicken. And so does my wife. So we'll probably be getting that tomorrow. So enjoy your day today. We're going to keep it short, but uh, talking about Roofers United. Thank you for joining me today on this lovely Saturday. Uh, Roofers United is about transforming the industry from the inside out. It starts with each of us to take possession and responsibility for our own walk. So integrity is the perfect word for today. And we're going through, I am, I have, of course, the book, Discovering Godly Character as Your New Bottom Line. It's a 40-day business application guide. So that's why we're going through this today. So day eight, um, you know, like I said, this is a book expressly for Godpreneurs, Godpreneurs who put God first in their business. Okay, we want our lives to mean something more than just chasing the mighty dollar or the American dream. Uh, you know, or the revenue marker, <laughs> we want our life to mean something. So if you're out there and you're feeling like, God, what is this all about? I just work day to day and hour to hour and come home tired and what's happening with my life? So reaching your divine calling, your DNA, your divine natural assignment is what this is all about. And so what is God's call in your life? How can you make an effective change? You know, if you're feeling purposeless, there must be something more to this life. And I'm telling you, there is. And so it's about knowing your calling and uh, knowing that you're incredibly, incredibly valuable as a person. And as a Godpreneur, we put God first in our business and that's what this is all about. So, you know, yesterday was an example of that. And um, let's go ahead and go through the integrity description. What does integrity mean? Well, it's the state of being whole and undivided. The quality of having strong moral principles or uprightness, okay? And uh, we're on page 32 if you're in the book, but you can download a copy free for the next, I guess, 30 days, uh, 32 days left. And so strong moral principles, uprightness. A lot of people say, well, it's doing the right thing when you're not being watched. That's a great explanation of integrity. Elias Raber is a friend of mine. I have a special guest and he'll be on uh, a call later today with me on Zoom. We're gonna post this video. Elias is up in Pennsylvania. The Raber Twins, he's a great friend of mine. He's built an integral, integral, integrity organization uh, with uh, many thousands of people in his organization. His quote for today says, my shortcomings are there to provide, to provide the greatest opportunity for growth. My shortcoming, shortcomings are there to provide the greatest opportunity for growth. Ah, I get my words right here this morning. So uh, yeah, integrity. And so uh, my story on integrity yesterday, we went out and did some cleaning of house. I cannot be preaching and talking about character traits without God taking me and making me responsible. So yesterday we got a call for a leak. It was a three-year-old coding job that we did. Um, we've gone out twice since then and fixed it. But yesterday I decided I'm gonna go out there once and for all and take advantage of this time and walk in integrity, clean the closet of my own business practices and get out there. So we get out there to Bill Dodson's roof. It's a 40 square metal standing seam. We found the leak and we did what was right. I even called Jonathan Sherwood with Roofers Helping Roofers. Thank you, Jonathan, very much for helping me to, um, you know, find the right application for that. So we had to get out there and clean house. Many of you are probably feeling the same thing. You have to get out there and fix your mistakes that you have done. And that's just happens in roofing and construction because we have to make things right. So out there just fixing a commercial roof leak yesterday, you know, and I'm going to give you three valuable points of how that makes sense for you in your house as you clean house <laughs> in your business. So the first thing was integrity in leaders refers to being honest, trustworthy, and reliable, right? Amen. If you give me a shout out to that. Thank you, Oscar, for being there. Uh, so integrity in leaders refers to being honest, trustworthy, and reliable. 
got to be there when the when the roof leaks got to get it taken care of number two leaders with integrity act in accordance with their words in other words we practice what we preach okay and so they own up to their own mistakes that's number three so we uh we as leaders we are integrous with being honest trustworthy and reliable we uh practice what we preach and number three we own up to our mistakes so if I didn't go out there and fix the leak, I mean, what kind of company would we be, right? <laughs> we own up to our mistakes. We don't hide them. We don't blame our team. We don't blame somebody else. The bottom line is leaders of integrity have no excuses, right? No excuses. So Godpreneurs rule. These are the Godpreneurs rule for today. These three rules, integrity, being honest, truthful, and reliable, uh, act in accordance with our words, practice what we preach, and then we own up to our mistakes. Three simple tips that'll help you today. Uh, start off with your family, right? Find out, usually integrity means taking out the trash in the family day. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and pray the declaration of integrity so you all can get out and get your mother's gifts. But uh, so let's prepare our hearts for that right now and declare I have integrity. I'm gonna get up here and just uh, walk as I pray. I like to walk and pray. And you guys can see this is my beautiful place. I'm just so excited for today and my mother's coming into town and I'm praying that you all have a, a fantastic day too. For years, I would come out here and just declare the word of God, especially in Ephesians 1, 2, and 3. I wrote that in my journal and I would come out and just declare that for years, that the love of God would be known in me and through me. So let's go ahead and start with the declaration of integrity. All right, just repeat this after me. I declare I have integrity. I commit to take appropriate action today to be my best self in Christ. I speak words of life and victory over myself and my co-workers. I am blessed within and blessed without. I am causing rain to fall down. I guard my heart for out of it flows the issues of life. I am anointed and empowered by the creator of the universe. Thank you, Lord. Lord, defend me from evil spirits who try to rise up against me. Enemies, flee! Say that again. Enemies, flee! Protect my integrity, O oh God, today. I shall be true to myself and do nothing to grieve the Holy Spirit. I have integrity. This is my declaration. So be it. Amen. 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 All right, let's do our reflection here. Let your having become your doing. Following the golden rule teaches us to treat others how you want to be treated, right? We can do that today. Let's practice being patient. Let's practice being a good listener today. So how do we have gratitude for integrity? How can we change our behavior? You know, there are doctors out there who believe that you can actually change your personality if you have a trait that is not operating in accordance with integrity. It can be done. You can transform and rewire your brain. So let's have gratitude for integrity. I wrote down that in both my companies, Music City Roofers and Roofers United, you know, our missions are both one of integrity. We're both wholesome, strong moral principles. We're not divided in our mission statement and our vision statement. We're being whole and undivided of same mindset. Okay, strong moral principles in your mission statement's very important. So remember service, loyalty, and respect. And that's what we use in ours. Aspiring goals for today. I wanna walk sober-minded amongst all the negative circumstances and pressures that could be out there. There's a difficult pressure we're going through right now. You can pray for me and my family. My mother-in-law is actually in the ICU today. Uh, she had a pacemaker put in, and last night we had to take her back to the hospital. This is the third time because it's not working correctly. She lost a lot of salt in her body. She had to get re-nourished, and she was dehydrated. So she's supposed to come back today so she can celebrate Mother's Day with us, but that's a hardship for my wife especially and me and our family. So, I mean, she's 86 years old in the hospital. Can you believe it? Not on Mother's Day, we're hoping. So God help us with that. Bring her back to life, bring her back home, God. So that's a difficult one to bear. I'm sure you have yours out there too. A victory I celebrated yesterday. I took courage from fear in areas of my mother-in-law's health. So that was a big one. I had to come back and um, monitor that situation. And uh, my wife, Jody was, you know, in a desperate spot there. The last one here, expecting in faith. So we're being a present listener 
to walk in strength. I want to be a good listener today to walk in strength, lead my family and my wife in our present darkness here with health issues. So the best equipping is to be the hands and feet and the spirit of our living God. Jesus will never let us down, right? So we put our hope in his loving kindness today. No matter what challenge you're going through, no matter what hurt and pain and struggle, the Lord Jesus is there. His hand is always reaching down, okay? He is here with us, even if you don't feel it. He knows the end from the beginning. So I want to pray that with you, our day eight character builder. Let's look our eyes straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. Give careful thought to the paths of your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. That's awesome. Do not turn to the right or left, but keep your foot from evil. People with integrity walk safely, but those who follow crooked paths will slip and fall. We don't want to slip and fall, do we? Not today. No way. So let me pray for you as we close out today and um, just bow our hearts. We thank you, Father, for this day. I reach out into the community of contractors and roofers who are following this channel, God. Thank you for the views. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you, God, that it is by your will that we even have breath. So help us to walk in integrity today, God. Help us to honor our mothers tomorrow as we think about this day. They deserve honor. They deserve respect. They deserve service. So there you go. Take that from me. If you get those three things right tomorrow, you'll be a winner, right? So Father God, thank you for healing. Thank you, Father, for this special day tomorrow. We bless all the mothers worldwide. Thank you, Father, for them birthing us. Without mothers, there would be no human potential. Amen? <laughs> all right, y'all have a great day today. Spread this message. Don't forget, for you who have not taken the Reformers Pledge on roofersunited.org, you can go ahead and take the pledge and upload your, your uh, picture there. And then you'll get a gold coin from me. Uh, respect, honor, and service. All right, make it a great day. Have a great weekend. Take care.